Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the second video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover hydrosity. Uh, so immediately when you come into the stage of falling and you see I'm moving left. Uh, now Tails can fly out of this initial fall but Knuckles can't glide. So instead he goes over to the left and there's a 10 ring box here you can super glide off. And that puts you here. You want to land behind. There's a, um, a hand will appear about here. Uh, you want to land as close to the left edge as possible while still uh, landing such that you can spin dash rather than uh, teetering on the edge where you can't. Uh, because charging the spin dash and going through here is much faster than using the hand. Uh, as soon as you go past this line here where the two paths dive, uh, converge, uh, so there's a path switcher that runs about here and that uh, means that as soon as you go past that, when you come back, you'll go up the top path instead. So you don't have to go any further than that. There's a loop over here uh, that you can go through, but you don't need to. Immediately just jump, glide, face left, and spin dash back up the hill. Uh, once you get through this loop, so jump out of the ramp there and glide so that you land on... There's a crumbling platform just to the right of this there. Okay. Once you land on it, slightly delay before doing that next jump glide. The first frame that you can actually fall through this, and it does look like you're just falling through solid platform. The first frame you can fall through it is as you can see just there, if you have a look closely this time, uh, that it's just starting to crumble now. Uh, that's when that platform is no longer solid. So you can just go straight, you can fall through it, and it looks like you fall all the way through. Uh, as you hit that spring, let go of right, because otherwise you'll go into this passage here, and that's a bit slower, so you don't want to do that. Spinach carry the speed through here. Again, same kind of, same kind of thing here. Uh, here the path switch is a little bit further across, uh, so you want to jump, and just as you go past this platform here, glide back to the left so that you land like that and then you can spin dash immediately away. Slow yourself down a little bit on the water there so that you land on this platform and then you're going to jump and glide out to the um, out to the loop. Now you've got to be a little bit careful with this because this platform as it falls uh, can actually break your glide. You'll, if it intercepts the path that you're going on, uh, you'll just run off it and you only have a frame or two to actually react and jump back off it again. Uh, so if that looks like it's going to happen, then either hold left to pull back or just try and get a jump out. You don't really have a lot in the way of options if it is in the way. If it's a little bit lower than you though, you can drop onto it, which um, kills your speed. As you can see, I've got past it there. Uh, jump glide. Uh, gliding actually knocks away projectiles, uh, same same as a shield does. So that's, that can be something handy to know. Uh, this boss fight, if you've seen how I explain it for Sonic, it's exactly the same. You spin dash up this side and you're trying to hit it while it's in the air. Go one, two, three, four. I think in this run I actually get five. And you can tell because you'll see the HUD flash up in the top left. Two, three, four, and then on this one you can see that it's flashing but you also hear that you get hit. So I got both essentially at the same time. Uh, and now I only have to get one more hit. Uh, so let me just back up a fraction there. No, not far enough. Okay, so you can see with the boss that it has two arms like that. Um, if you need to get two or more hits at this point, uh, you're going to need to get some hits with um, without hit invulnerability. And as as the boss passes along the bottom here, it's actually possible to jump and get a glide in between the two arms. Uh, now you're going to take a hit in return when you do that, so you need to make sure obviously that you don't do it with no rings. 
uh, but you can normally get two as it comes down this way and two if it comes down this way if you need them. Uh, final thing to remember is that as the stage ends make sure that you're facing right because you don't have any control um, as you fall here. Now, Act 2, like, like the other characters, we need to die. Um, unlike with the other characters, uh, it's a little bit different. So, what we do is we jump out of the ramp and then glide quite close to the ground like this. Uh, and just before you start sliding along the ground, but, you know, if you start sliding, it's too late. Um, if you let go of the glide at that point, uh, you actually die immediately. So, see, here I drop it. See, I drop slightly into the floor and then suddenly dead. Um, not entirely sure why that happens, but it is definitely the quickest way to die for Knuckles. Uh, this will also happen on any piece of flat ground in this section with the wall, so you need to be uh, very careful when you're doing glides later on. Uh, here, where... Oh, okay, I haven't actually done it yet. Um, yeah, so here, this, this looks like a roll along this platform, but it's actually a jump. Uh, for some reason, you don't start gaining any height until you get over the gap that's here. So, the objective with this jump is that you fall up against the left wall, attach to it, and then jump out and glide to safety over here. And, again, like I said, you have to be very careful that you don't actually drop this glide just above the surface and die. You actually have to make sure that you see yourself skid along the ground before you let go. Uh, and then just stop here and wait. Normally you'll have a little bit of um, leeway here. As soon as you see this platform pop up, uh, that's when you should release the spin dash. Then grab onto the wall from the left side and jump over to the spring. And this is this is Knuckles' method. Knuckles can't do the um, the level wrap from down below because his boss room is actually in a different spot. Uh, so he needs to do this to get up to it. It's much higher. So uh, because these uh, ramps can only be landed on if you are falling. If you have enough speed this way and you jump and pass through them while you're moving upwards, uh, their collision detection doesn't activate and you can jump straight through them. A little bit like that. And then what you want to do is spin dash back into the corner there. Um, spin dash a few times and then hold right and you start zipping off to the left. Uh, so this will continue and then the screen starts shifting back to the right. As soon as you see this, switch to holding up and left, and then the screen starts shifting downwards. As soon as you see that happen, tap one, two, three on the same button on the on the controller. Uh, relatively quickly, but not super quickly. The first hit actually does nothing. Um, the second and third are what actually do a jump and a glide. But the first one's just to help you time it. Because otherwise the the window to time it is very small and it's not there's no really obvious point at which to do it. So I like to time it with that extra tap there. It's a it's a major run killer. So expect to expect to lose runs here sometimes. Um but what should happen is that you jump and glide. So after after that, you should hear the jump sound. But then after that, you should also hear yourself grabbing a wall. Like that. And once you've done that, 
you then want to switch to holding up and right, and jump and glide again. And then you can hear it there. And now, now we're climbing a wall that's on the right hand side, and that lets you climb a lot higher and it'll let you reach the boss room. Uh, you can just hold up and be fine, but you see what I'm do or you'll hear what I'm doing here is uh, consistently jump grabbing the wall. So for that to work, you hold upright and then double tap uh, a jump button. And that actually does get you to climb a little bit faster. Uh, and it is important that you climb up pretty quickly. Um, you've, you've really only just got enough time to make this. Uh, something I'm looking for... There it is. Okay, so as you approach the boss room, the, um, the water level rises to this level, which is what it's meant to be at this stage in the in the stage. Uh, so if the water level appears any higher than this on the screen, uh, you can you can make one desperate jump for the boss room. So if you're about here, say, um, as soon as the water level appears on screen, you can then jump off. Uh, and what that does is uh, when you're grabbing a wall and you jump, you actually get much more height than you would in the in the air. And so that actually can give you just enough to get up here and be safe. Uh, now, all we got to do is uh, do the boss. As, as I said, the arena is actually different. Uh, in Sonic's Run, you'd be looking for a green tile to stand on here. Here, you're looking on this white one. And as soon as you see the whirlpool appear, then you just jump and you end up on the corner of the platform. The propellers can't hit you from here. Uh, now you just have to be very careful about you jump, and then at the height of your jump, then only then do you press left. So that you bounce up, you bounce back up after each hit, and you don't hit the propellers. And that's Hydrocity. So now I'll go back to the start and show the stage without any interruptions.